The staging begins for long-term care residents' priority COVID-19 booster shots, and Senate Republicans demand judiciary hearing on nursing home COVID deaths. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $25 a year, a promotion that is running until mid-September. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. Residents in Michigan long-term care facilities will be among the first to receive COVID-19 booster shots after the state's top lawmaker pledged to fast-track additional doses for the population once ready. Democratic Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer issued an executive order on Friday directing state departments and agencies to, quote, move as quickly as possible to administer booster shots to those in long-term care facilities and correctional facilities. Earlier this month, the Healthcare Association of Michigan stressed that the state must prioritize long-term care facilities for future pandemic-related policies in order to help curb future outbreaks. The move came after the emergency use authorizations for both the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines were amended to allow additional shots for people with moderately to severe compromised immune systems. Approximately 3% of Americans fit this description, including individuals with solid organ transplants or who have an equivalent level of weakened immune response, according to the CDC. Some experts have been skeptical about the need for COVID-19 boosters for long-term care residents and that more data is needed before moving forward. The executive order calls on state health officials to ensure that the third dose of either vaccine is available to all eligible nursing home residents. Agency officials must also encourage providers to minimize barriers that would prevent residents from accessing a third dose. The COVID-19 response at nursing homes in several states could face additional scrutiny after several Republican lawmakers on the Senate Judiciary Committee called for a congressional hearing to see if residents' civil rights were violated due to controversial pandemic-related policies. The request from the lawmaker group, which included the committee's ranking member, Chuck Grassley, the Republican from Iowa, stems from controversial orders enacted by New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and New Jersey that providers said forced facilities to take in COVID-19 patients. Quote, these four states pressured nursing homes to accept patients with active COVID-19 infections who were being discharged from hospitals at the height of the pandemic, the lawmakers wrote in a letter on Friday. The group also wants to investigate if the states lied about their COVID-19 deaths and if the Department of Justice is thoroughly and impartially investigating the matters. The DOJ in late July announced that it would not be opening civil rights investigations into New York, Pennsylvania, and Michigan about their state orders and number of nursing home deaths while an investigation into New Jersey's policies are ongoing. New York is also still facing a federal probe after the state withheld COVID nursing home death data out of fear it would be used against them. Incoming Democratic Governor Katie Hochul vowed Sunday to fully cooperate with the investigation. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.